So, first things first, let's talk about the situation as we know it. Now, I'm going to go through all of this just so we're all up to speed. Jonathan Majors is charged. Now, this is the facts of the matter. He has been charged with multiple counts of assault and harassment by the New York City District Attorney. However, as you have all stated, people have anyway in the comments, yes, his defence lawyer has stated that there is evidence proving that the actor is entirely innocent. So that is the, that, that's the situation presented before us. Now, the DA is charging him. That's a fact. What the defence lawyer has stated is currently hearsay. He has said he has evidence, and I hope he does. I genuinely hope he does. Now, th there's so much conflicting elements of this entire report anyway, right? So there, there are reports to, to claim that the woman waited till the next day to call the police. And then there's now claims that it was actually Jonathan Majors that called the police. There are reports that some of it was done in a house, an apartment. And then there are reports to say some of it was done in a taxi and that there's video evidence of said taxi ride. There's reports to claim that uh, the, I mean, the, the police said that the woman was taken to hospital with minor injuries, and then the defence lawyer claimed she was taken to hospital for an emotional crisis. So you can see why we're all over the place, and this is why I don't blame you guys for being a bit, what's going on here, you know? Like, why are you even talking about this? Well, again, yeah. that is that is why we're talking about this, ladies and gents, because it's all over the place. So from just to, to lead off with what the defense lawyer said recently, where you're where you are all at anyway, is obviously Jonathan Majors is completely innocent and is provably the victim of an altercation with a woman he knows. We don't know who the woman is. She's not been named. Fine. Keep your privacy. We're quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that all charges will be dropped imminently. Remember, this was what was stated on Sunday. We're on Tuesday, the end of Tuesday, and as at present, he is still he he is still being charged. Evidence includes video footage from the vehicle where this episode took place, witness testimony from the driver, and others who both saw and heard the episode, and most importantly, two written statements from the woman recounting these allegations. And this is from Priya Chowdhury, who I'm not. 100% familiar with, but someone had stated uh, in a comment, multiple people uh, multiple people have stated in the comments anyway, is that he is the best lawyer in New York City. He's fucking, he is head honcho lawyer. So they they got that really quick. Was, you know, that whether it's Disney or Jonathan Majors who got that lawyer on board, who knows, but he is the best lawyer. So, you know, I don't know whether that's worthwhile information to point out, but it's certainly interesting. And he continued and said, all the evidence proves that Mr. Majors is entirely innocent and did not assault her whatsoever. Unfortunately, this incident came about because this woman was having an emotional crisis. And this is where we start to diverge from conflicting reports, for which she was taken to hospital yesterday. The NYPD is required to make an arrest in these situations. And this is the only reason Mr. Majors was arrested. We expect these charges to be dropped soon. However... The Deputy Commissioner of Public Information stated, a preliminary investigation determined that a 33-year-old male was involved in a domestic dispute with a 30-year-old female. The victim informed police she was assaulted. Officers placed the 33-year-old male into custody without incident. That's important. He didn't put up any fight at all, so that's important to note. But this is where we diverge on reports. The victim sustained minor injuries to her head and neck and was removed to an area hospital in a stable condition. Not because she was having an emotional crisis. She was removed to a hospital because she sustained minor injuries. So, then we have this. This is new information. After police responded to a 911 call supposedly made by Jonathan Majors uh, on Saturday night over an alleged domestic dispute, Majors was removed from the residence, from the residence by the police. Uh, and he was arraigned in front of a judge a few hours later. Prosecutors sought supervised release and a full order of protection. But the judge granted a limited order of protection and Major was released in the early a.m. Unless this all goes away, the actor is expected back in court on May 8th. And as of now, that's still the case. He is still going to court. 
A complaint by the Manhattan DA's office detailed the situation in the uh, it, the situation in the apartment in the city's Chelsea neighborhood. The defendant strike her about the face with an open hand. So this is apparently in the apartment. So this is where so ladies and gents, conflicting, conflicting. Taxi it happened in in the vehicle. This is now in the apartment. Struck her about the face with an open hand, causing substantial pain and a laceration behind her ear. So maybe if this is to be believed, that would I would imagine probably be from a ring. Or could be from open her hand. earring. Oh, yes. Yeah, no. Well, uh, uh, behind the if ear. If she yeah, has dangly or she has through. like uh, hook no, you're, you're completely poke. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, she observed the defendant grabbed her hand, causing swelling, bruising, and substantial pain to her finger. The defendant put his hand around her neck, causing bruising and substantial pain. So with statutory language that says the defendant with intent to cause physical injury to another person caused such injury to another person. Uh, majors, th again, ladies and gents, here are the facts. And I hope, I hope this is all wrong. I really do hope that this has not happened. But majors has been formally charged with several counts of assault in the third degree a single count of aggravated harassment in the second degree, and three counts of attempted assaults in the third degree, and one count of harassment in the second degree. It's not very good. So when everyone was going, why are you talking about this? This is misinformation. No, it's not. The facts are, he was he has 100% been charged. So we're all up to speed. Tom, what do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, this is a convoluted mess as far as what supposedly went down allegedly or whatever you want to put it. Um, as far as the rest goes, yeah, I think it needs to be reiterated, of course, innocent until proven guilty. Um, oh, yeah, 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is we the have, with all these conflicting reports. What, yeah. Where are we going with this? Like, it's kind of all over the place. Because the problem we have here is we have his attorney who is like out there basically saying oh he's going to be exonerated mm. absolutely going to be exonerated here we are tuesday he ain't been exonerated yet in fact right. the charges went through and yes. they it sounds to me like they crossed their t's and they're dotted their i's here with this situation and you know i had talked with a former police officer who said the same kind of thing like especially mm. when it comes to celebrities like this they don't mess around like because the last thing they need is like to be sued Right. Yeah. yeah. But there's also just, the just other to, side of it too. Yeah. Just to interject really quick, this is not comparable to Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. No, because Johnny never got arrested for anything. They're, they're not arrested. They were not formally charged. They're not appearing in court. That was a civil case. This is not a civil case. This is the district attorney has charged the actor, Jonathan Majors. This is not is not comparable. You could say it's comparable in terms of maybe there's a lie somewhere. But the DA has clearly thought that there's enough evidence to the contrary of what evidence was provided to him by the lawyer to show that he's not innocent. It's yeah. formally charged. And DAs are very political, right? Like, yeah. they, they have an upward uh, sky shot for politics. They don't, they don't fuck around. They don't want anything to get in between that. And you, as a DA, as a district attorney, you're, you're highly unlikely to charge the next big thing in Hollywood without sufficient evidence if you value your career moving forwards. That's also important to consider here. Again, right. I'm not saying anyone is guilty, but these are important factors to consider. They have formally pressed charges. Anyway, sorry, Tom, just to head... No, head no, no, the, and that's the, the whole the thing. Like Depp I said, heard statements they on. didn't charge him Saturday, and as far as we know, it didn't happen until Monday. So that means to, that tells me that they really went through all this and they considered... Mm -hmm the options, right? And sure, his lawyer is putting up a very good argument or a, a good show. Uh, and again, I'm not saying it, he's lying. I'm just saying that he's definitely convincing a lot of people that uh, this is apparently much a girl. to do about apparently nothing. Or oh, as a girl, a girl. I'm apparently sorry, I apologize. Uh, she is, is apparently, uh, uh, you know, making it sound like he's fairly innocent, but that's great that you have video evidence. Let's see it, right? It's hmm. not so much to tell me you have it. I want to see it. Because you can tell yeah. me all day long one thing or another, but of course you're biased because you're his lawyer, right? Like, I mean, it's your job to make him look innocent. It's your job to get him out of trouble. If he is innocent, yeah. great. 
But to yeah, me, well, it's... <laughs> Amber Heard's lawyer said she was innocent. Exactly so my point. Throw exactly. the comparison back that way. The again big difference as well. here is, is yes, I get it. In a domestic situation, there is always an arrest made. At least in most states, that's the way it works. There's a lot of mm. uh, red tape to go through just to make sure that you know the the state is covered, the cops are covered. In case you know the the woman wants to recant something later on, this is a very typical thing when it comes to domestic disputes domestic you know assaults and such stuff such yeah. stuff so because of that there are these laws in place where it don't matter somebody's going to get in trouble especially if there's evidence right to protect not only the individual but the the cops in the state so they don't get sued you know uh it, it's it's one of those situations where i feel like they've definitely made sure they they were going to go forward with a case they had a strong feeling they could win or they wouldn't have done it especially with somebody who's high profile as this and then you have the other factor here is whether he's innocent or not. I think some of the damage has already been done, right? Like we've heard some of the horror stories about this guy come out and these stories were starting before this incident. Yes. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So just to, to j- jump in before we get your take on this uh, culture. Ooh. Yeah. Th- so there were, there were some further allegations which were brought up on Twitter. So that's important to, to just to state, but they also didn't give much information either. You know, they're very much like, oh, well, you know, I can't reveal too much because of the victims. And I, I and just to say, like, I really do hope Jonathan Majors is innocent. I like him as an actor. I think he's great. Um, and no, PL, this is not a clickbait title. You should rewind a little bit. Jonathan Majors has been formally charged by the district attorney on multiple counts of assault and harassment. There's nothing clickbait about it. That's the actual facts of the matter. And it goes to show that you literally are an uninformed fool. Do some research before you come in and talk nonsense it's not clickbait jonathan majors has been formally charged yeah. by the district attorney formally charged nothing clickbait do some fucking research all right i sincerely deeply desire for you to do some more research before you espouse nonsense so oh we've got andre here as well hello hey, Joining the stream. how's it going yeah good Good, good, I had the uh, I had the opportunity to hop in, so I figured, hey, why not? Good. Well, we'll just grab Culture's opinion first on this, and then we'll navigate round to you, Andre. Go for it. So, yeah. Culture, where do you sit on this? Well, I I sit firmly in the let's wait and see status. Still, I I, mm. I mean, we've 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 got some serious claims being made. Uh, those claims supposedly recanted. Uh, we have a an attorney that's more than qualified uh, with uh, many, many years in the business uh, on the, you know, for defense here. We have the Manhattan DA who's not going to tread into this lightly. So they obviously think there's smoke or excuse me, fire where the smoke came from. Um, you know, I'm sorry. I just it's just it, it, you 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 don't normally hit the pause button unless there is substantial uh, exculpatory evidence, and it doesn't. Mm. You know, and we haven't seen it yet. If 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 the if the taxi ride video shows there was no infraction in there, that takes that part of the story away. As you mentioned, there's many different versions of the story now, not just one yeah. or two or three. You know, the original story was this happened in a taxi. Uh, the original story was like, well, they didn't report it right away. Well, now we know that both parties called the police. I mean, there's I mean, there's some very strange things afoot at this Circle K. Um, you know, he was arraigned. That means that they, they, mm. they just charged on forward through it. Um, I mean, that's even reported by NPR. Uh, this story has been reported in parts everywhere, but not in whole anywhere. And I think that's another part of the problem here is we don't have one single source of information or enough sources repeating or mirroring the same things, the same facts about what happened. So I think the wait and see approach is probably the safest. And like you, I hope this is not true. I hope this was a an emotional response that happened in, you know, uh, you know, because he was looking at his phone on an app that maybe you know, was indicating he wasn't so faithful to his, you know, girlfriend. Yeah. So, you know, there's there's a lot to this. And and again, you can present this in a thousand different ways. It's it's interesting that his attorney, uh, his attorney, a uh, female attorney, is the one, you know, throwing the emotional women argument out there into the world because that's hmm. exactly what has been done. Um, I find yeah, that yeah, true. Off, I find that a little off of the playbook. Um, but again, I mean, you, 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 you know, you do whatever you can for your client as Tom was saying. And in this case, I mean, 
sure, we have plenty of evidence to 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 indicate that this never happened, and there's just an inaccurate a tale of events that's being told. Sure, mm. show us. Well, they're not gonna. So we'll we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, the old hysterical woman thing really kind of threw me for a loop there. Did right? Yeah, that's why it's really easy to. That tells me maybe that's why she might have recanted her tale. Because yeah, sure, she's probably not as innocent as he is. But you're looking at a situation where this guy's three times her size, right? Like that's the other thing. Sorry, culture. Continue. My bad. I didn't have much else to add. I wanted to hear what Andre's thoughts are because we've now digested this story for a couple of days and it doesn't sound any better. <laughs> no, it's no, not. no, it doesn't. This is the thing. And, and just to reiterate again, you know, guys, I sincerely hope the lesser of two evils is the outcome here is that we are dealing with a woman that's lying. I hope, I genuinely hope that is the case because I, I don't want to see women beaten. I think that's awful. I would genuinely prefer her to be a liar but andre over to you good sir uh yes uh i take it there must have been uh an update in that the lawyer says that this is just a hysteric woman uh which is uh which is i yeah that is news to me i have not heard that before which is why i assume it was just one toss away new. line in one of the comments yeah. basically yeah but still i can see why she would do it because as a woman she can do that and i think after amber heard that is something that quite a few is going to be receptive to. Mm. Uh, she's not going to say, look, this is just another Amber Heard situation. But if she goes and says, hey, this is another hysteric woman situation, that's going to go home with a lot of people. She didn't say mm. that for, uh, for the court. She said that for us, the pleb. Because then a lot of people are going to go like, yeah, bitches be crazy. Uh, and uh, that's going to probably win him a lot of favor and to me i i i'm of the opinion that this particular case we don't know never make any kind of assessment like this based on one such story because how many cases have we not had of various false accusations in the last few years you had like this whole me too thing a lot of horrible stuff was uncovered but there was a lot I mean, a lot of people, we've, we've all witnessed this, of vindictive women making up lies just to, just to smear and destroy lives. This is real. It happens. We have no way of knowing if this is him stepping out the line or this is uh, her doing something uncalled for. We have no way of knowing. Therefore, we should all just let the courts do their job and uh, work, uh, do their work on this particular, particular incident and uh, await passing judgment. The big thing to me is the moment that this happened, then all of his former, no, not all of them, but many of the people that used to work with him in New York, and these are other actors, they are directors, and there are other peoples that in the theater and film industry, and they all come out and they say, yeah, this dude is a total sociopath. This dude is an abuser. They, so many people came out and said that. That never happened with Johnny Depp. That never happened. Yeah, true. That never happened with uh, with those other cases that were clearly false accusations. It did happen where there was genuine, genuine fire behind the smoke. So whether the thing that he's charged with here is real or not, some very real smoke came up there. To me, that is the more telling thing, which leads me to think that whatever the case of this matter right here that's that's one incident but you can't agree this or disregard all those other things to me yeah. that means marvel is having a problem right now because uh, because their gang didn't just get one accusation but he got a bunch of them all at the same but, time well i think it's important to sort of so just to sort of uh, throw it out there it is important to note is that he has been formally charged now, so you know that that that's important. Obviously, the is, that, um, is, is that also like in the last twenty four hours? Yeah, he's been formally charged. That, okay, that he's been formally charged. So he's been formally charged with 
several counts of assault in the third degree, a single account of aggravated harassment in the second degree, three counts of attempted assaults in the third degree, and one count of harassment in the second degree. So that's, that's, that's the cold, hard facts of the matter, yeah. is that he, the DA's obviously seen the evidence and gone, we're still going to charge you. So that so, means that they have seen this video then, that the lawyer <laughs> claimed would exonerate him completely. Well, that was Sunday. They've seen this video, and, and then they decided that, yeah, this uh, this uh, isn't exonerating well, anything. Well, and here's them. where the harassment might be coming in, because this is where the, the story gets convoluted for me. Sorry, Andre. Um, because you have, he called the cops the night before. She went to the she cop shop the next, the next day. day. Yeah. yeah, she went there the next day. Okay, now it sounds like there was two separate incidents here. It's not what it's sounding like well, to me. Because like the cab driver in the apartment. He, exactly. Well. I was gonna say, because the cab driver claims he dropped him off at separate places, which goes against why he why would he even do that if he, he said nothing happened? Right? That goes against yeah. anything the lawyer's saying there. So if that was the case, then that means he went to his house probably after the fact and it continued it there. Now again, I'm just speculating because mm. otherwise harassment is one of those situations where Yes, it's kind of a catch-all term for a lot of things, but usually that means there's consistent, like it keeps happening, right? Like it didn't happen well, just once, or they also, were told to leave them alone, right? Like that's the two situations yeah. usually where harassment comes in. Yeah, but it's also several accounts of That's what I mean. That's what I mean, well. yeah. So it as happened well more than once. Yes, yeah. So it's harassment me, and assault, separate charges, yeah. Yeah, and let me let me add something else to the mix, just some more flavor for this particular oh, sauce we're putting together. Give us the, the flavor train. Why did the Army pull his campaign immediately? You think they didn't have somebody call the DA's office and ask for explicit information? You think somebody's not willing to work with the U.S. government, in particular the military? to give them enough understanding of the situation around it. Well, I think that's interesting comparison because everyone likes to draw the comparison of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Yeah. Johnny Depp was never dropped with, um, uh, was it Dior? Savar? Was it, was it Dior? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it yeah. It, he, yeah. It, the, he, he was never dropped. He was never no, dropped. Uh, the this, U.S. Uh, Army instantly dropped. Visage? Um, something I like that. Really know. Yeah, yeah, it was some the, perfume brand. Well, yeah, Hollywood, they dropped Johnny Depp instantly, though, both yeah. from well, Pirates Disney. and from... Uh, yeah, exactly. That's Disney what I mean. specifically That's dropped him instantly. Yeah. That was so dumb. Did, so did Warner. So Which is funny, because Disney anything. didn't have to say shit, because there wasn't even a Pirates movie in production, right? Like, yeah. they distanced themselves, even though they didn't have to. Warner Brothers, unfortunately, had to, like, react to it. Andre, that was yeah. a big difference. Well, they, they felt yeah. an obligation to react to it, yeah. yeah and Bru is... Bruckheimer always maintained that Johnny didn't do anything, and yet Disney was like, yeah, well, he can't be in a Pirates film again. I, I, I guarantee you that's why the Pirates button got paused, because yeah. <laughs> there's there's not a, a positive. I, I know they're moving forward with that chick pirate thing, which mm -hmm. is garbage, but... Um, yeah. I think um, there, there is the potential that the army just, just you know, binned him off, because obviously the army... Uh, you know, it's an ad campaign where they're paying him millions of dollars, obviously. And, you know, they've obviously got a certain, they, they've paused it. So they're not dropped it completely. They paused his part of the ad campaign specifically. So they, they, they could start that up in, in, when it all gets cleared up. But I think there's, you know, there's a certain element there where they would probably have to uh, distance themselves from a, a, a very public situation like this. And I think but, there's an element of uh, Jonathan Majors being, the next up and comer whereas Johnny Depp was established so maybe they think it's more of a PR nightmare or I guess I don't know that's just spe it's all speculation I know but I just I thought that would be an interesting way to come at it because I mean mm -hmm. again we have examples of what happens when you get dropped left and right you know oh, yeah I mean D in, in, Disney for all, for all intents and purposes Disney should have dropped him already right right because he's been formally charged mm -hmm. uh, just I don't think he should be dropped as an FYI. No. But if you're dealing with a com if, if a company is going to handle things, uh, you know, fairly, uh, fairly across the board, then they, yeah, 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 then they, they would, they would handle him in the same way that they handled Johnny Depp, where he would mm. just be dropped. Obviously, that's not going to happen. It hasn't happened. We haven't seen that yet. But you know, if you're going, if you're going to to handle yourself, you know, across the board in a fair manner, then yeah, like he would be. I'm not saying he should be dropped. But he would be dropped. So it is interesting. Um, and there's, yeah, I mean, you could recast, I guess. The only things he's in now moving forwards currently, obviously he's going to be in everything, but he's not in everything. He's only in Loki at the moment. So, yeah. 
it's a uh, bit of a shit show, ladies and gents. Yes, I should it's say a bit so. of a shit show. Uh, uh, and they've gambled so much on this guy that uh, that's really, really embarrassing. Yeah. Tom, you mentioned something, and we talked a little bit about this in a couple of other places, but it was a couple of other production-related folks that said he was abusive. What was? Do you remember that story specifically? Oh, he he. Oh, um, that. we. Yeah, I was about to step away, but oh, uh, yeah, uh, we talked about it last night on the uh, Toxic Femme broadcast, and mm. I actually caught one of the individuals' tweets before they had privated their uh, account. Their feed. Yeah. Um, but they did get picked up by, uh, I think I got the cinema blend version here, if not, uh, but here you go, guys, you can mull over this one. Yeah. This is what I was talking about. Cause one of these, one of these actually was, was before this happened. Yeah. Which uh, that he later, later confirmed that he was talking about Jonathan. Yes. Rangers. And then he later confirmed that's who he was, uh, referring wow. to. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, not doing him any favors right there. No. Oh you, oh, you chucked it there. Sorry. Goodness. Uh, what was this then? <sighs> da, 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 da. So yeah, this is what you're referring to. Two directors speak out uh, about Jonathan Major's alleged vicious, cruel behavior uh, and more after wow. his assault. Uh, assault arrest. And again, it has been charged now. It is really important to stipulate he has actually been charged because yeah. that matters it does That's matter nice. yeah. um so uh ab allen and this is important to note and i said it in my video like again i've tried to handle this as, as very much down the line as possible ab allen is a they them right and i say that because again there could be a political motivation uh, an ideological bent to this individual making these claims we don't know but it's information of which needs to be pointed out True. when such individuals generally handle themselves in a very combative and vindictive manner. That's important. So A.B. Allen, the individual I'm about to read out, right, is, is a they them. So just to, again, be as down the line as possible. Don't accuse me of any of this nonsense. Uh, but the director posted a message to Twitter back in February in which they referred to an actor that the internet has violently fallen head over heels for. And they said this, there's a particular actor relatively new on the scene who Twitter has violently fallen head over heels for, who in actuality is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, both professionally and in his personal life. And every new viral thirst tweet about him drives me insane. Um, A.B. Allen, whose credits include Your Turn and Rough Draft, later apologized for the overflippant tone used in the last post. Uh, in the two additional updates, they went on to clarify the knowledge they have of the star's alleged claims. I regret my overly flippant tone here. Uh, I read the words alleged assault in the tweet, figured we were talking about uh, a shoving match outside of a bar or something, then posted this. Once I read the details, far more brutal than I expected. I wished I had said something else. Everything I've known about has been physical, has not been physical. It's not a huge leap at all for emotionally violent, professionally abusive people to become physically violent as well but I was not made aware of it. This is uniquely horrific and very grave. Oh, wow. um, and then there was Tim Nikolai, a veteran of Broadway and co-founder of Society Theatre, said, uh, I'm just going to say this about Jonathan Majors and be done with it. Folks at Yale and the broader New York City community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and abuser, and that is how virtually everyone speaks about him. It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. Whew. So... That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, pretty. I mean, again, yeah, pretty brutal stuff. Ooh. Pretty brutal. Stuff. I mean, He's... the first one, the they them, was referring to emotional violence. So, I mean, sure, but you know, you know yeah, he, but he, he is right in in actuality that you know mental abuse and emotional abuse can further to physical yeah. abuse. I'll give him that. He is right in that 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 can develop. Um, but that wasn't what he was referring to initially. No, but these are these are people that want to work again. And if they're yeah. if they're taking shots at the golden boy at the moment. Yeah, yeah, true. The golden goose. Yeah, that is true. Well, Ooh. Nikolai, Tim Nikolai um uh, locked his Twitter account shortly after he did that tweet. For whatever reason, I don't know. Obviously repercussions, I'd imagine, from you know, uh, lit probably... litigious elements. 
Well, and they probably also got a call from Disney saying, shut up or yeah. you will never work for us. And that's just the way Hollywood has always worked. I mean, you know, if, if you've known anybody, and of course, you know, Nate, Andre, Tom, that has ever worked in the industry, they will tell you, just, you know, got to be, <laughs> you have to be publicly savvy, media cool to survive. Mm. So that was yeah. not media cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, it's all, look, it, it's all a bit of a, a shit show at this point in time.